going to try something new this year. I was, I, uh, if you don't know, my name is Wheelo. I'm on uh, Instagram, and I spoke of this earlier this year. Said I wanted to do some different things, and I think YouTube's going to be one of those things I want to try out. I don't want to do it just by myself. I want to have a good friend of mine with me along the way. And uh, so we're, we're right now currently in his shop. A lot of you guys already know him. Uh, his name is Justin Page, obviously, my machinist. Uh, builds a lot of dope parts, does a lot of stuff for the uh, motorcycle community. Uh, so that's what this uh, YouTube channel is going to be based off. We're going to do a lot of motorcycle content, whether it's uh, part installs, bike reviews, trips, things of that nature. Uh, just having a good time. Really want you guys to join us. Uh, many of y'all probably also heard there's a kind of a, a biker build off going off for Born Free Texas. Uh, the FXR Tour is what they're calling it. And uh, Justin is one of the, not just kind of like the co-founder, but one of the builders. And uh, he's going to be coming with a super, super rad built uh, FXR. No doubt there's going to be a lot of machine parts. And this gives us the opportunity to put a little bit more behind the scenes than what you would typically see on Instagram. So right now we're currently, like I said, we're in his shop. He uh, does everything in-house here. Uh, we have a motorcycle in front of us. He's doing a couple parts for us. So as this little intro video to our YouTube channel, um, we're going to kind of show you a little bit of this, have him talk a little bit, and then just kind of... Um, get the ball rolling i know this is gonna be kind of crude it's not gonna be the greatest um we're, we're both old we're both learning uh talking in a camera and you know putting ourselves out there it's definitely gonna be something new and challenging but we look forward to it we're gonna have a lot of fun and worst case you know we we, we screw up and and just gotta gotta learn from the mistakes but anyways I'm going to spin around to Justin. He's going to give you a quick little background, and we'll show you some stuff going on in the shop. Try to keep this short and sweet, and hopefully, if all goes well, we'll try to do this a weekly update, whether it's on the FXR build, whether it's just on things in the shop. Like I said, he builds a lot, a lot of parts. Uh, I know he gets a lot of questions on you know installs and stuff like that, so we're going to try to do a lot of installs and just all around have a good time. Hope you guys enjoy. But anyways, without further ado, here's Justin, my machinist. So I figured I would uh, jump on here and do this with him as well, because uh, I have so much free time. Uh, we're just going to be here making new parts, old parts, also doing some riding and uh, maybe a little eating like that too. But uh, we can get a little quick tour around this huge 20 by 30 shop in Little Rock, Arkansas. We'll walk around here and then also we're doing some uh, new prototype parts for ST. A buddy of ours, Gino, has uh, let us borrow this bike and then uh, we're doing some just random little parts here and there, nothing crazy big. Uh, we're gonna test about his bike before we start selling them. So right now I have one machine. Uh, it's just a Haas CNC. Uh, and I'm actually on trying to get another one on order right now because I need one ASAP. But uh, I'm gonna try to spin you around here. This is our machine and all the tooling for the Cat 40. Extra parts here, PV mounts, press, just random tools, grinders, anvil drill press, saw, shit like that. Also racks for all the parts and uh, other parts that come in for some one-off things. I try to keep them organized. This is uh, Gino's ST that we're working on. Um, we're just doing a little filler piece for the dash. Also cut the struts, which are hard to see. And this piece here we just did, it is a just a little filler panel, just to give it a little accent. Uh, this bike is super dope and really fast. This is our crazy huge shipping receiving area. So literally right in the walkway and just bolts and nuts, tools, things like that. Gives you the idea. There's Hudson, my son. He's also designing parts for himself and his 3D printer. Other than that, we're good. And then the most important, beer, monsters. Anyways, so that's a rundown. Um, we're just gonna go through like a few things here and there. If we can get one out every couple weeks, that'd be dope going to Daytona, going to other rides. Uh, Scott's going to the polar ride, I can't make it. Uh, just things like that. So I think it'd be fun, nothing professional, and follow along. So yeah, like Justin was just saying, um, this is a quote unquote a small shop. He has a one man shop. At very most, uh, Justin has his son, and uh, it's usually just him. So a lot of the items, when, when you guys purchase them, uh, you know, he's, he's getting the material, he's machining the material, he's packaging the material, sending it to uh, the coders, polish or whatever bringing it back you know then having to reship it back to you guys i mean it's it's a long process and part of this you'll you'll get to see some of that not just the the actual parts themselves but what goes into actually being kind of a, a one-man shop and it gives you guys a a little better understanding that it's um why there's sometimes a weight on your parts um 
like he was saying, he is going to go to Daytona. He's going to try to get some great footage from there. I would love to go to Daytona again this year. It was a blast last year. I had a lot of fun. With all the other trips going on, um, I just got to kind of stagger him a little bit. So he's going to do Daytona. I am going to be at the Polar Rod. We're going to definitely get some footage from both of those events. And then from there, you know, you got the Fast Life Camp Out, obviously Sturgis, uh, Born Free Texas, all those kind of things. So, uh, yep, right now we're uh, looking at Geno's bike. Uh, machine a couple other parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of spin the camera back around. Uh, just kind of do some little slow-mos and stuff like that of the machining process, test fitting the products. And then, uh, like I said, this is going to be a real short and sweet little video. Just kind of introducing both of us, both on Instagram. Probably the easiest way to get a hold of us. And with the, uh, the addition of the YouTube channel, um, we're just hoping that you guys enjoy what we're doing. Definitely give us some comments, some feedback, things that you like to see, things that you don't want to see. And we'll go from there. This is... Uh, the very first one so we're not going to know until we uh, get this thing to a computer and start editing it how uh, audio sounds how good the footage is but um yeah so enjoy and like i said we're gonna get some some cinematic slow-mo of a small little part getting made and we'll uh